everybody, it's Gina. Welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67. I've got some journals to share with you. You've heard me talking about these for what feels like forever, but I have finally completed them. So I thought I'd do a, a flip through very quickly and let you see what I've done inside of these. Um, but to get started, I'm just going to show um, something different for me that I created um, Oh gosh, a couple of weeks ago, and I've just had it sitting, you know, waiting for these journals to get done so I could show you all in one video. This is just a little um, project I've started ages ago and never did co complete, and I've just been on this thing of trying to finish up products, um, projects that have been, you know, shoved in, in little shelves and and cabinets so <laughs> this is one of those um, this is a half of a um, file folder that I've stamped on it I add a little glassine pocket here with a little tag that I made and then I've added one of the um, Tim Holtz metal pieces there it's got a beautiful saying on that old old buttons and um, trims this is fabric that I've stitched on the front of that and then inside is this little slim um, journal that I took the what was left over and I've just added all sorts of things to it um, this is seam binding this is a a tag just kind of hanging over this is some of the paper dolls from Tim Holtz I've got, um, oh gosh, I've got fabric back here to reinforce it, <clears throat> and then I've got old button, all kinds of bits and bobs, you know, within it. It's got some piano paper here, some um, time sheets, and or time cards, and then just all kinds of little things there. It's just a like a trifold journal, and let me see, it measures... Let me grab my ruler here. I don't know where my... Oh, there it is. There's, there's my ruler. It's about three and three quarter by eight and a half. And then the little file folder is about six and a half by nine and a quarter. So that's the front of it. And then when you flip it over, this is what the back looks like. And I added a little book plate here. Just one of the little... Um, Jumbo eyelets, lots of fabrics and laces and buttons, and isn't he adorable with his dog? Love that. And then I just did some stamping. So yeah, it was just a fun little project, you know, to kind of help um, get me out of, you know, my little funk of being stuck in uh, the same old thing. I thought, well, this will just be a fun project to do, and... Um, and I have enjoyed it the last couple of weeks of creating so much. <laughs> it's been really nice to try new net techniques. I've even done some art journaling, but I don't tend to share the art journaling because I'm doing it for myself, and I feel like there's added pressure if I'm trying to show it to you guys because it's not. I'm not good at it. I just do it really more of a therapy type thing. Um, so this is going to be for sale in my shop. If you're interested in that, um, you can have a, a look at that. Okay, so let's just start with these. Now, these journals have all been, um, you know, they've got the same elements. So I, depending on time, I will go through these. Um, let me just... Sorry, I'm just writing down something. This is Amelia, which has got the reds in it. And I'll tell you more about that. This is Chloe, and then this is Patricia, who's a ballerina. Okay, so let me just share um, Amelia first. And these are about a five and a half by nine. These are fabric. Okay, these are old bark cloth. Now, I've had a question about the bark cloth. Um, it is a cloth that I think was used 
like between the 30s up to the 1960s, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it was made out of um, a, tr a specific tree. I don't know. You can look it up. It's bark cloth, just how it, um, it's spelt just how it sounds. Um, so I acquired some of this, and that's how I've done um, these journals. Um, Chloe does not have the bark cloth on it. I take that back. I didn't add any to her. This has got some of the Tim Holtz in there. Look at that old button. Isn't that? It just really popped when I put that on there. The closure is um, the jumbo eyelets with some sari silk. And then the back of this has just got some ticking fabric. So these are fabric journals. They're one signature. And then going inside, like I said, they've all got the same elements and the same layout. They just might be placed, you know, in a different, um, throughout the journal. So you've got an altered um, playing, jumbo playing card. This is a little... Um, Gosh, I'm, I'm having a blank here. Ah. Oh, you know what they are. But anyways, I've just added a little clock to that and a little bell and some lace and <coughs> some extra fabric there. Tsunami Rose paper um, mixed in with other scrapbook papers. And then this was something I was playing around with my um, these definition dictionary definitions from my porch prints and I love how this tag came out so what this was um, these are using up book pages and I may be doing a tutorial for this it's it's pretty straightforward but I love it this when I cut the um, center out I loved how the um, the page is showing through and it really makes that poppy stand out and then I just did some splatters of um, paint on there I love that. I just love it. little tuck spot there. I've got fabric tabs throughout. I think I've put five fabric tabs in each of these. And then this was another thing I... Um, this is like an altered um, paper clip tag. And then you've got the little pocket here that holds it. And you can do some journaling back here. So that's just tucked in. I've got tea dyed, coffee dyed, and avocado dyed paper in here. Book pages, um, vintage book pages, music, old music sheet. This music sheet that I use is from a um, these books I got from the car boot, and these are very, very old. I'm trying to see if they had the. Um, the date in here. I'm sure the other one had it in. Yeah, I don't I don't know, but they're very old um, music sheet pages and I love those because they've got really nice little songs in them. And then this is a um, piano roll pocket that I made there and I've stitched it. There's quite a bit of stitching here and just um, again, these are kind of like stash buster journals because it's just a mix from my books and designers. I've just tried to, you know, coordinate things. Um, but it is a real eclectic mix. And then this was just some scraps that I had that I've turned into little journal cards. Um, so it, there's a lot of room for writing. Um, I've added some of the projects that I've been recently doing. I've added in here like these big... Um, these images were from Nikki at Gun, her shop, and then this was a design team project for Artie Mays with the little house tag. So a lot of things um, that I've been doing recently, I've, I've included in here. This is 1906, yeah, 1906 uh, ledger. So that is original. And then just, like I said, various tags and things here. I just layered this up, did some fussy cutting on that. Or not fussy cutting, um, punchies. 
And then here are the little charms. This was off of Took, Took's craft table. She did a tutorial on how to make these little charms. Um, so I did that, added those to it. And then um, one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had uh, delivery. Okay, so this is a. Um, I think this is around 1900 as well, this book page, so it's a little bit fragile. Um, but, you know, it's fine the way I, I've reinforced it, so it's fine on the stitching there. And then this, I've put in um, some original postcards that I picked up. Um, I really don't know the date on these guys, but. They're pretty old, you can tell. So I've added a couple of those in. And this is a um, avocado dyed um, page that I've made into a pocket there. Now this is a this is a copy, so this is not an original, but just added that in for a little journal card. And then this is another little tag that I made. I'm trying to use up those little Tim Holtz people because I think I've got about, I don't know, 300 of them or something. <laughs> Some ridiculous amount. <laughs> and then this is Edith Holden. And then this is a little tuck spot that I made because I wanted to keep those um, in the right position, for, you know, so I just created a little tuck spot there, and this is another little journal card I made. Old um, home book that I've got, I don't know, probably about the 40s or 50s on that one. Another little collage tag that I made. A little small um, <coughs> Rolodex card. And then over here, I've got another one of the old postcards. This is another old, um, they're like little souvenir things that you could get. And this was from Paris, um, I guess from the, the museum. And then I did these tags, um, and that's with the Tim Holtz wildflower dye. And you just put that back in there. So a lot of different, um, this is... A, back of that um, ledger. I love that paper. This is some old uh, German book page. And then in this pocket I've made this little pocket that holds a tag and I've stamped. And then this is a very old, um, not sure what these were, if you purchased them at the churches, I don't know. But I loved them because they were so dainty, um, the frame around it. and. I just I picked those up at the flea market last year. So this is another um, of the house tags. I've added that in there. And then this is an old ration book, 48 to 49, that I've included in each of them. And they've got little, little pages, and some of them have been written on. But just a, another little bit of history. And especially, you know, if you're in the U.S., I, I don't really know. I don't remember hearing about ration books in the U.S., but maybe they did have them. Um, another of the little charms that I made um, using um, Took's tutorial, and that's using um, some of Tracy Fox's tiny little bits of ephemera. And I had a little bell there, so I like how that hangs off. And then if you followed me, we did these pockets using the shipping paper and just book page. And then I added a bead there. And then this is the other side of the piano roll um, pocket page. And then another of those old little uh, photographs. And then I love how these little file folders came out. Aren't they beautiful? And those are the tiny little bird, um, fussy cut birds that you can get from my porch prints. And just a scrappy little pad that's tucked in there. So there's still 
a lot of room if you wanted to add more <coughs> embellishments. Um, music sheet. Um, you could do, but I just... Plenty of room that you can still write. Now this is original um, photo cards. And I've included one of those in, in each of them as well. And aren't the backs of those amazing? Love those. And this is a book page double pocket here. With some more ephemera. And another fabric tab there. And then on the back, I've done a, this is a vintage wallpaper um, coin envelope I've put on the back of each of these. Um, and that's all been glued down, so there, there's not another pocket behind. It's just that. But these are all um, wallpaper. So they're pretty sturdy. And then that's the back of the journal, guys. So that's how Amelia looks. And let me just show you the other ones. <clears throat> this is Chloe. Now, Chloe does not have the Barks cloth on the cover, but it's got this beautiful fabric. And then I doubled up the Tim Holtz and then added that image of her old button again with lots of old laces. Same sort of closure and again inside it's very similar so I'll just very quickly flip through and you can see I'm not going to pull anything out guys just um, let you see the placement of everything same um, vintage bits <clears throat> have been included so um, it's just like I said they, they probably placed slightly different throughout. And I can't off the top of my head think of how many pages, but that'll be in the, the description in the listing if you're interested. Um, you can you can check that out. Okay? So that is Chloe. And then this one is Patricia. This is the Barks cloth. I love the colors on this and this is an old um, ceramic button um, that I picked up. It was in an old tin of buttons and I got to digging around and there were several of those so I thought it really went well. with It pulled that blue out I think so that's how this one looks. I love this journal. Well, I love all of them. Um, again, you know, same sort of thing. Um, so I won't go through it, guys, but I will, if you're interested, just check out um, the listing and it will say how many pages are in there. And um, do be aware that if you purchase more than one item from my shop, um, I will combine the shipping because I know internationally it's very expensive on the shipping. But I do combine so that, you know, I try to help where I can. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got to share for you now. Um, I'll be back hopefully very soon. I haven't got anything in the works, but you know my mind is always always turning. So hopefully I'll have some, some more projects done very soon. You guys take care, and thanks so much for stopping by today. I hope all of you are staying safe and are able to find some enjoyable things to keep your mind occupied during these strange times. Hopefully we won't have to endure this much longer. But until then, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye.